Hey, Chet's crew and other viewers. Got another uh, reduced rack review for you today. But before I get into that, I just want to mention that I uh, I went live for the first time last night. I think it went pretty good. I uh, was a little learning curve there at the first, trying to figure out how to do everything. But I think uh, in the future, uh, now that I've done that little test run, I'll be uh, ready to go. I, I only had about four viewers at the most at the, while I was on there, but uh, I think that was uh, pretty good for not really uh, announcing it ahead of time. I just kind of went by the seat of my pants and just uh, announced it and then kind of went live and then uh, I, I learned some things. But anyway, uh, yeah, so... If anybody wants to check out the replay of that, I left it on there, and uh, it's going to continue to stay there. It's about an hour and five minutes, so it's kind of lengthy, but uh, I'll tell you, for anybody who enjoys watching the uh, hot dog swallows, I think there's four or five on there. Remember, kids, do not try this at home. I am an idiot. But here goes a hot dog swallow. So, uh, if you if you like those, uh, uh, you can check it out. And say we, uh, it's my first time trying it, and uh, I uh, really didn't have anything prepared, so it kind of just uh, come about generically, like with. Uh, people that I was talking to on the live and asking questions and stuff. I, I did realize that it's uh, even with only three or four people at one time, like it's uh, pretty hard to keep up with the comments. Uh, so, uh, man, for for big YouTubers who, uh, who do lives a lot and uh, have a lot of people watching, like I, my uh, boys are off to you because uh, it, it's so hard to keep track, and I don't like to say I. I think the most I had at one time, uh, trying to keep track was three, and uh, so it's, it's hard. But but anyway, like I say, uh, I I got some ideas for maybe in the future I'll set up my computer alongside of my uh, uh, camera so I I can keep track of the comments better, be able to scroll up and down, catch them. But anyway, I'll. Uh, hopefully by the next time I try it, I'll have worked the kinks out, and uh, and the next one will go a little smoother, and I'll, I think I'll do some planning ahead of time, that uh, I'll have something planned for when I get ready to go live, but, but anyway, enough about that, on with the review. And uh, as you might have seen from the thumbnail, what we got today is, it's a... Uh, made by Panda Brand and it's made with natural ingredients soft licorice it's spelt licorice <laughs> but it's uh, pronounced licorice and uh, I had a little joke about that on the last one I did now I think <clears throat> it says here under the word panda, it says, the real taste of licorice. Licorice. <laughs> it says here only five ingredients. And it's vegan and fat free, if that's important to anybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm going to read you off these five ingredients. It's uh, table molasses wheat flour, uh, cooking molasses, uh, licorice extract, and aniseed oil, A-N-I seed, aniseed oil. And, uh, and it says here for nutritional facts, it's, uh, zero fat, this uh, whole thing is about that long, is uh, 100 calories, 3% uh, sodium, 
which is uh, 80 milligrams and 8% uh, carbs and 1 gram of protein and the only other vitamin that's got anything to to add is uh, calcium 2% and uh, so there you go and it's uh, it says here made in Finland now I don't know I don't think there's many panda bears in Finland stop wait hold the phone I was making a joke about there being no pandas in Finland uh, because of the name panda and that the licorice was made in Finland and I was going to find a uh, picture on the internet of a panda and a picture of a map of Finland that I could put them together and make it look funny that there was no pandas in Finland when lo and behold I thought to myself wait a second maybe I should fact check this that there isn't no pandas in Finland and sure enough I think it was in 2018 China gifted Finland two giant pandas so uh, for a zoo in central Finland I think it said just uh, just outside or like a 30 miles I think it said from Helsinki but anyways <laughs> if you Google if you want to Google that and, and check it out uh, I find it to be quite an amazing story actually so anyway <laughs> I stand corrected and back to your regularly scheduled programming but it's called panda so there's that <laughs> so uh, yeah instead of struggling with I find packaging nowadays like it's so hard to get into like a lot of the stuff you used to be able to grab a hold of it and rip it open like that, uh, they've made it so hard to open things now. I don't know why, unless they're, I guess they're using uh, better sealing methods now or something than they did years ago. But I'm just going to take my old handy shear here and uh, zip the top off of this. And we'll give her the slide out. Yep, I'd say she's black licorice flavored since it's so black. And uh, like I say, the last one I reviewed was a was an apple uh, green apple flavored natural licorice. And uh, and if you want to go check that out, uh, it's a few videos back. And that one didn't go so well, so I'm hoping this one will be a little better. But uh, anyway. Uh, my wife's not here. She's still, she's still down to her mom's recovering from her uh, latest surgery. And uh, I also, if anybody wants to check out my live from last night, I uh, explained exactly what's been going on with my wife in that live and uh, and why she's been having surgeries and stuff. So if anybody wants to check that out for that reason, there's that too. So my wife's not here. She usually does reviews with me, but she wouldn't have done this one with me anyway because she don't like black licorice so anyway enough jibber jabber let's uh, get on with the review here mmm oh look at that color inside there mmm mmm two thumbs way up Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Now this is licorice. Mm. And if anybody, mm, I know around here, I don't know about in the United States, I probably had them there as well. But years ago, we used to be able to get around here. If I can find a picture of those on the internet somewhere I'll throw up a picture on one, one side or the other here of those 
I remember a story. It's funny how different tastes can bring up stories from the past and stuff. And as soon as I bit into this, I remembered and, and it taste, tasted a lot like those old uh, pipes and cigars that we used to get when we were kids. And I remember my grandfather on my father's side, uh, Vincent, he used to take me over to the local corner store. Uh, it's called, uh, at that time it was, uh, it was owned by uh, a couple, their last name was Foot, but the ones who had originally owned the store was Pages, and we always called it Pages Store no matter who owned it after that, but anyway, uh, my grandfather used to take me over there and uh, buy me these uh, cigars and the pipes there, and, and I remember they put them in a little, uh, little brown plastic bag, and and uh, Vince would bring them out, and, and he loved them too, and uh, we'd enjoy them. And that color, that color inside, like, almost reminds me of those as well. Now, like I say, this is all natural, and I'm sure probably those old ones, I don't I don't think they would have been all natural. Uh, but maybe they was, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to have another bite of this because it's awesome. Mmm. I got my lapel mic on here, so I'm sure if you can hear the chewing and stuff. I got it down low just in case. But, uh, mmm. Awesome. Anyway, I think you guys can probably tell this where this is going because of, uh, my reaction to when I first tasted it and uh, but uh, anyway uh, to finish off that story I was telling about the black liquors and my grandfather there like as soon as I bit this it uh, brought me back to that moment in time of uh, going to the corner store and getting these the old black licorice pipes and uh, things and like I say I love how that uh, how that happened you can uh, tastes and smells and, and sounds can take you right back but anyway with that I know you're probably gonna uh, guess what my review score is it's a uh, five out of five hours and uh, so anyway yeah I just like I say if you ever get a chance to uh, try out this uh, well upside down panda natural licorice and uh, what did I say pandas from Finland <laughs> but anyway over that with that I'll say remember if you can't laugh with me laugh at me but keep laughing have a nice day